Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for uh, seven days from the date that you watch it, but the date would be, what is the date anyway, the 18th through the 25th, yeah. Let's say the 18th through the 25th of October. I keep in mind the timing's fluid, so. What do we have? What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? Mmm. They have serious regrets for hurting you. So somebody has serious regrets for hurting you. I don't know who. Somebody does. What do we have for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising in Venus. Next seven days. Oh, I got two. Pin. New job or career. So maybe you're going to be starting a new project. Maybe. Dark woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. Interesting. So interesting. So let's get one of these. What do we have for Taurus? Somebody may be making you an offer. What do we have for Taurus? You know, before I started this, I was going to say there's uh, something to do with money. Door to value. I think this is something to do with money. You're going to be getting an offer that can increase your, your financial abundance, can in, increase your money. There's going to be an increase. I don't know that there is. I'm, I, I just knew it. I just did. I did. I just felt it. Um, something is happening which is going to increase your, you know, your money. You, maybe you're really focusing on your job, you're focusing on your career, you're focusing on your money. You're getting an opportunity or there's some sort of skill that you have that's going to help you to increase your, finance, your finances. So what do we have for, and I think you're working really hard, whatever this is. Mm. Unfinished sym symphony unfinished symphony so there's something here that is unfinished um i think we got two people here don't we no it's just one there's definitely something going on i'm gonna go ahead and read that card because i feel the need unfinished business unfinished business an incomplete lesson lack of closure a need to make amends Somebody has serious regrets for hurting you. Maybe they want to make amends. I don't know. Or you need to make amends. Something is going on here. This is a time to tie up loose ends as you're near the completion of a cycle or project and mastery of a lesson or skill. Before you can move forward, it's important that you come to terms with where you are now. Practice radical acceptance. Take inventory so that emotional and psychological closure can occur and the answers you seek will be found. You can't move forward if you are leaving things unfinished. Reflect on what has passed so that the symphony can finally end on a high note. So you're, you're closing a chapter in your life. Moving on is difficult when love lingers. Things are left unsaid and you haven't had the opportunity for closure in your relationship and in your heart. You can still feel bound up in relationships when closure is denied you. It is important to achieve this for yourself. Write that letter, make that call, or have that conversation over a cup of coffee. For peace of mind, accept matters as they are. Make amends if need be and declare your feelings, if only to yourself. Be clear about what was left unresolved and close 
the door on the past so that you can set yourself free. Only then can new love blossom. <laughs> prosperity, in regards to prosperity, in regards to your business. Make sure you complete projects now before starting new ones. Perhaps you have created something special that will increase your sense of abundance and bring you opportunities for wealth. There is something here that can increase your wealth. I'm, I'm pretty positive. However, if you don't see it through, it won't add up to anything but more clutter. Now is the time to put your nose to the grindstone and complete the tasks that have accumulated. Pay your bills, sign the documents, do your filing, hand in the assignment, complete the work of art, tie up loose ends so you can move forward with surety. Knowing you're on the prosperous path and feeling refreshed and excited about the future. So this is about tying up loose ends this week. And that's what you're going to be doing, tying up loose ends. Okay, tying up loose ends. What do we have for Taurus? Queen of Wands and the Eight of Swords reversed. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could also be uh, dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But it feels like you're breaking free from some sort of restrictions. Um, actually, I'm not sure. I have to look at this like this. I got the Queen of Wands upright and the Eight of Swords reversed. So there could be some lies that's realizing the truth, breaking free, an obstacle being removed, finding your confidence, your courage, your willpower, your discipline. Uh, really taking action um, to bring success, uh, re-examining your current circumstances, uh, getting organized, um, accepting and la allowing things as it's happening. I feel as though you've been in a situation where you have definitely been restricting yourself. You know, you've, you have been, you have been restricting yourself. You've been playing it safe. You've been uh, in a, maybe a place, even maybe a place of mental turmoil, you know, um, staying in a situation that you've probably wanted to escape from, but couldn't find the courage to do so or the determination to do so. Maybe fear was holding you back, but this is the queen of wands is a fearless energy. So I feel like you are, uh, becoming stronger. You've gained some sort of strength. for Taurus. Six of Cups. Six of Cups is memories. Memories of the past. Focusing on the past. Thinking about the past. Um, it's not the six. It's the five. I should have known. Huh? I don't use this deck hardly ever. But that's what came out of my mouth. This is grieving over the past. It is grieving over a loss, not realizing that there's another opportunity, missing an opportunity, focusing on the past, focusing on the previous pain, focusing on the hurt, focusing on what happened, clinging to it. This is like, really sad it is it's like there's love that has been lost love has been lost and you're missing an opportunity for love you are it's like you're fo some of you are focusing on a third party situation you're focusing on a person that already has somebody else or somebody's focusing on you and you have somebody else we definitely have a woman here and it could be a man as well but we have somebody here that is grieving they are grieving heavily over a loss when, they're, when there's an opportunity that is being ignored. And there is a third party situation here. There is another person involved. 
Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups reversed. Eight of Cups reversed. Now, this is somebody probably coming back around. The, you know, that the Eight of Cups could be an apology. Um, somebody that left wants to come back. They may have some serious regrets. Maybe you have serious regrets. The Five of Cups is regrets. So somebody is really having a lot of regrets. Regrets. What if I would have done this? What if I would have done that? There could be a reunion here. You know, there could be with the Eight of Cups reversed. Um... Somebody's also been pretending that they're happy. They've been pretending that they're happy. They've been um, reluctant to leave the situation. Staying put in it for sure for all the wrong reasons. This is like a wild goose chase. Somebody has been avoiding. They've been avoiding... Uh, movement, you know, because of that Eight of Cups reverse. It's like there's... There's, there's a necessary alteration that is needed, but somebody's been avoiding it. They've been avoiding it. They've been stay, playing it safe. Emperor. Emperor reversed. Could be dealing with an Aries. Emperor reversed. Whew. It doesn't have to be an Aries. Um, the Fool reverse could definitely be dealing with an Aries. Uh, doesn't have to be. There's foolish behavior here. <laughs> poor judgment call. We got somebody here that's making a poor judgment call. Four reverse is a poor judgment call. There's definitely some unfinished business here. It doesn't have to be an Aries. It's somebody that deserted you in your time of need. That's the emperor reversed. Um, they're grieving. There's somebody here that is grieving. They may have been stupid. They may have been naive. I'm just being honest. The fool reverse is stupid and naive. Um, foolish mistake. Inexperienced deserted you corruption illegal somebody may have even done something illegal or they were corrupt or they were in their ego seven of cups next to the five of cups so this is like really thinking about the options thinking about their previous choices thinking about everything that has happened we got somebody here that is definitely, definitely, definitely struggling. Somebody's coming. Somebody is coming. Somebody is headed in your direction. They are. I feel like this is somebody that has caused you some sort of dismay. They've caused you some sort of pain. They may have left you. They deserted you. They deserted you in some way. That's the emperor reversed. Now, this could be a father figure or somebody. I don't know who it is, but it's somebody that may have abused their power. Um, Eight of Cups reversed. This is definitely not happy about leaving or somebody has left. Some, you know, maybe you've left you've, or they've left. Somebody has left with the Eight of Cups. Now it's reversed. It's like wishing, maybe praying, you know, with that Five of Cups, grieving over the departure. Definitely some unfinished business here. There's closure that is needed. Temperance. I'm just going to get the rest of the cards. Eight of Pentacles. So we, have, we had three eight so far. Eight, eight, eight. The time is now. The time is now. What goes around comes around. Something is definitely coming back around with eights. Okay, something is coming back around. No doubt about it. There's unfinished business here. Now, the temperance card is timing. It's a card of timing. It's a card of evolution being tested. Somebody, somebody is definitely headed in your direction. I feel like you are going to be surprised. Um, you probably don't see this person coming. 
Seven of Wands reversed, admitting defeat. Uh, judgment. Oh my God. Judgment is another chance. You know, forgiveness. Somebody may want forgiveness. This could be a reconciliation or a resurrection of some sort. This is truths being revealed. This is also karma. This is closure. It is the end of things. It's a life-changing decision. We have somebody here that is ready. They're ready to be judged. They're ready to be held accountable. Somebody is going to be held accountable for their actions. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know if you're dealing with a king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. King of wands on the bottom. Ah. <sighs> This person is given to take action, so somebody is going to be taking action, um, putting in effort after they maybe they were too scared, they were too fearful, or they were they deserted you for some reason. I don't know if it's a father figure or somebody that deserted you. Somebody deserted you. There is some sort of corruption here. Stupid behavior with the fool reversed fear somebody or or if it's not stupid it could be reckless behavior same thing um you may be grieving you may be worried you may be in a place where you know what should i do you know i feel like you are i feel like you're you're just like sad there's sadness here and that's not going to be for everybody okay there is some sort of sadness here it's like there is. There's sadness. I think that you've given up. You've given up on this person. Underneath the Seven of Cups is the Seven of Wands reverse. That's given up, admitting defeat, stepping down, quitting. I'm not, you know, I accept because we have the Seven of Wands reverse next to the judgment, okay? Seven of Wands reverse is quitting. It's giving up, okay? Judgment is acceptance. Maybe you're just, you've decided, you know, I want something more because temperance is exchanging something lesser for something better. Maybe you've decided, and it's about acceptance as well. Temperance is in the middle of this reading. It's your main energy per se, okay? It's a time of evolution. It's a time of allowing and accepting that something is over. It comes after the death card. So I feel like you're at a point where you have accepted. I do. I feel like you've accepted that this isn't going to work out. You know, this isn't going to work. Obviously, there's probably a third party situation here, okay? And if there's a third party situation here, you don't want to be stupid, right? I'm not, I don't want to be, I don't want to engage in this, you know, if it's a third party situation. I don't want to be a part of it, but it hurts just the same. It hurts. It hurts just the same because you have some sort of feelings. I can see that you do. You have some sort of feelings for this fool. Anyhow, um, and I feel like you decide to accept and step down. It's like, yeah, I'm going to start exploring my other options because the Seven of Cups is exploring other options. You're focusing, you know, you're trying to do too much. You may be confused. You may be, you know, going through a period of sadness. What if I'd done this? Or why is this happening to me? Moping, maybe even. As you're doing that, you're going through this transition with the with the temperance card you're you're healing right you're healing you're accepting you're allowing you're you're on this journey and you're you're going with the flow okay you're going with the flow of it you're working you're put, focusing on your job you're focusing on your money we go from the temperance to the eight of pentacles okay you're focusing on bringing balance to your life right you're healing you're healing from this loss okay um but there's something, there's some sort of unfinished business that needs to be cleared up this week. Maybe you need to forgive. Maybe you need to apologize. We have apolo apology twice. So I don't know if they're apologizing to you or you're apologizing to them. There could be an apology coming your way or there's some sort of, I feel like there's some sort of apology with judgment and uh, eight of cups reversed. You may have somebody here that has been pushing you away or they were holding on to a grudge or they were uh, not willing to change their position with the seven of, pen or seven of wands reversed, that is a change in position. It is. And the temperance is a change as well. So we have, a, we have a, the end of things with judgment. We have the end of a trial. We have the end of a, of a, uh, well, it's the end of a cycle. The next card is the world card. This is a life-changing decision. It's the end of things, being held accountable, truths being revealed, um, forgiveness 
It's a time of, of uh, acceptance, release, and forgiveness. So I feel like this week you're going to be going through some sort of... Obviously, it's a change with that temperance. It's some sort of change. You may be having an intimate conversation with somebody this week that gives you a wake-up call, gives you the clarity that you need, okay? Because if there was no closure, you know, the judgment card is a wake-up call. So you may be getting a wake-up call, an awakening. And the temperance is a reason, you know, getting the reason, getting the, receiving the reason, um, seeing it, seeing it, coming out of confusion. I think that you've been uh, in some sort of state of confusion, but I think that things are about to change. You're about to get the reason, you know, or see something more clearly that you have been confused about. This all happened to cause your evolution because the middle card is evolution. So whatever has happened that you have been grieving over has caused your evolution, okay? Um, I see that you're very, very, somebody's watching you, okay? They're watching you, take a look at this. It's like you're working away and there's somebody watching you. They're watching you work. They're watching you do your craft. So you are definitely being admired while you are at work. And uh, this is somebody that you know, obviously, with the judgment card. It's probably somebody from your past. There could be a reconciliation here. And forgiveness. Maybe there's maybe it's just a conversation about forgiveness. Um, it is the end of things. It is the end because judgment is the end of things. One more card. Ace of Cups. Oh boy. So Ace of Cups could definitely be a reconciliation. It could be a new start in love. It could be a new love, okay? This is expressing feelings. It's a flood of emotion. You may be in your emotion. Somebody may be expressing their feelings to you. They may be, there could be even words of love, you know, something like that. Um, it's interesting. I was just rubbing my eye because it was itching, but this can also be tears. So I don't know if there's tears. Um... Mm, temperance, managing feelings. You're going to have to manage your feelings this week because I feel like there's something from the past that is coming back around to be closed, okay? There's closure that needs to happen, and I feel like it's closing. This chapter of your life is closing. This is the end of the, the trial. It's the end of the story with the judgment card. We've reached the end, okay? It's, it's time for the verdict. It's time for the final decision. It's time for you know, somebody to make a judgment call. Obviously, judgment is a judgment call. I feel like you're going to get some sort of awakening, you know, or an epiphany or some sort of truth is going to come out that really puts you in your feelings. Now, for some of you, this has to do with a father figure or it has to do with somebody that deserted you. It doesn't have to be a father. It could be an Aries. We have Aries a couple times. Um... We have Sagittarius, we have Scorpio. We do have a definite decision that is being made with the judgment card. We have somebody here that could be doing something reckless, okay? They're doing something reckless and it's coming back to haunt them at this time. Now, that's a whole different story, okay? The past is the, is, is the judgment card and it's interesting that when that first card came out, I could have sworn it was the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is the past. And this is totally about the past. And as I read those cards, it is. So there's something in the past that you need to, you need to close it. You need to close, you need closure on it before you can step forward. Before you can step forward into this, I don't know, it said something about new love, didn't it? It did. Before you can step forward into this new chapter of your life. There is definitely somebody headed towards you. This is somebody that deserted you. Okay, it is with the Emperor Reverse. They didn't take care of you. And I don't know who this person is and is. They may have had an extremely big ego. You know, they were under a lot of social pressure. Um, they were mean-spirited. They were cold-hearted. They obviously, maybe they were uh, not really qualified. Maybe they knew they weren't qualified. Um, Corruption. There's some sort of corruption here as well. This person may do things illegally and they didn't want you to find out about it. You know, or they didn't want to get you involved in it. I do see grieving. 
I see grieving over a loss. You could even be dealing with somebody that is leaving or they they're maybe they're leaving this week without saying goodbye. I just I'm just being honest with you. Okay? Um, you're definitely going to be in your feelings. This, there is some sort of change here. Um, and you are going to have to manage those feelings. You're going to have to bring, be balanced. You're going to, you, you know, bal be, balancing your feelings and your emotions is really going to be part of this week. We have reconciliation or resurrection of something three times. Actually, four times because I saw the Six of Cups. We have it in the Temperance card, we have it in the Ace of Cups, we have it in the Judgment card, and I saw the Six of Cups. Those are all potential reconciliations with somebody from your past. And, it, and a reconciliation doesn't mean that, and maybe it's just forgiveness. Maybe it's just a conversation about forgiveness so that you can move on. Um, we definitely have somebody here that has seen your pain as well. They've, they have seen it. They've been watching you. They have been watching you. And uh, mm. maybe there's a change of heart here with the temperance mirroring the Ace of Cups. That could be a change of heart. Somebody may have a change of heart. And maybe it's because you've decided to give up. I do feel like you've just given up on the situation. Maybe you're like, you know what? I'm not going to hold on to this position. I'm not going to fight for somebody who has me in a third party situation. Right? There is definitely somebody here that is grieving over a loss, big time, big time. There's going to be an offer. There is with that Ace of Cups. There's, it's either an offer or an expression of feelings. One more card. Justice could be dealing with Libra. It doesn't have to be, but this is a realignment. This is doing the right thing, acting with integrity, telling the truth. There is some sort of truth that is going to come out. It absolutely is. This is also the laws of karma, and we have karma in the judgment. Everything turning out as it should. Okay. This is this is no toleration for lies. Some you may be dealing with somebody that's experienced a lot of karma since they I don't know if they abandoned you or what with that emperor reversed. I mean the emperor reversed is somebody that doesn't take responsibility, that isn't interested in helping, that is only looking out for themselves, that is very, very controlling. This person may be a tyrant, they may be a narcissist, they may be aggressive and abusive. Um, they may be in a position that they are not really skilled to be in, okay? I think that you are dealing with somebody that um, may have been entitled, you know? They were very entitled, you know, and, and power hungry, you know? And now they realize the truth. You know, maybe maybe they realize what they did or they realize what they're missing. They're really, because of the fool card reversed next to the emperor reversed, the fool card reversed is a missed opportunity, so this somebody has missed an opportunity, they may be asking for forgiveness or maybe you just need to forgive them even if you're not communicating with them because of that unfinished sympathy, sympathy, symphon, symphony, symphony, unfinished symphony. Because of that, like we read, there's even if you don't have the conversation with them, you need to forgive them maybe in your heart because the Ace of Cups is about heart, you know, so that you can move forward. Nine of Wands in reversed on the bottom. Extremely distrustful. You don't trust. Maybe you can't move forward because you don't trust anybody because of what the, this abandonment that this person caused you. Whether it's a father figure or it's somebody else that abandoned you or multiple people. Anyhow, um, justice. This is making. This is a final decision. 
It is, and then judgment is as well. There could also be news of legalities this week. There could be. Somebody may be getting some karma. They may be, you know, the law may, there's definitely karma here. There's definitely karma with justice and judgment. So somebody is, there's some sort of karmic ending. Okay, judgment is an ending, and this is the end of a trial. It's the end. It is the end. There's despair here. There is some sort of despair. Um... There's something that is unbalanced. Somebody is very unbalanced, and there's an, there, you're gonna you're gonna need to manage your feelings. You really are. Something is happening that is it's life changing with the judgment card and the justice card. Look at me. It is definitely life changing. So something is happening. It is life changing. Life changing decision. And this, this may have to do with stepping into unknown territory. Could have to do with moving with that fool card. Um, you're going to have to make a judgment call. And this is, this is in regards to your life, okay? It's in regards to your evolution. It's in regards to you, who you are right now today. Today, not yesterday. Who you are today. Hmm. Good luck.